Appleby Real Estate. I'll be your auctioneer today, assisted by Nancy. It's my pleasure to welcome you here today and it's our privilege on behalf of the vendors to be able to offer this property to you for sale by public auction. The auction will be conducted in accordance with the auction rules and any other previous conditions that have been in the documentation. The rules for the conduct of the auction are as follows. The auctioneer may make one or more bids on behalf of the vendor of the land at any time during the auction. To indicate that I am making a bid during the auction on behalf of the vendor, I will say the words vendor bid. By law, only I can make a vendor bid. The auctioneer may refuse any bid. The auctioneer may determine the amount by which the bidding is to be increased. The auctioneer may withdraw the property from sale at any time. The auctioneer may refer any bid to the vendor at any time before the conclusion of the auction. In the event of a dispute concerning a bid, the auctioneer may resubmit the property for sale at the last undisputed bid or start the bidding again. The auctioneer must not accept any bid or offer for the property that is made after the property has been knocked down to the successful bidder unless the vendor or successful bidder refuses to sign the contract of sale following the auction. If a reserve price has been set for the property and the property is passed in below that reserve price, the vendor will first negotiate with the highest bidder for the purchase of the property. The law prohibits false bids, major disruptions by bidders, and bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and provides fines for this conduct. Ladies and gentlemen, the contracts and section 32 have been available in the weeks leading up to the auction and have been on display here for your perusal. It is not my intention, nor is it necessary, to go through the full documentation, but I will cover those pertinent points. The contract reads as follows. The vendor sells and the purchaser buys both the property and the chattels for the price agreed and upon the terms and conditions set out in this contract. And I remind you under auction conditions that cooling off provisions do not apply. The particulars of the sale are as follows. We, the vendor's agent, Appleby Real Estate, offer the property for sale under a contract prepared by the vendor's solicitor, David Wilkinson & Co. The property is all that piece of land being described in the attached copy of title and being lot 76 on Planner Subdivision 05074, having volume number 08236 and folio 564. The property more particularly known as 36 Landscape Drive, Baronia Heights. Together with the following chattels, all electrical light fittings, window furnishings and floor coverings of a permanent nature. The terms of sale, a deposit equal to 10% of the purchase price and the balance in 60 days or earlier by agreement. If you are purchasing in the name of the company, director's guarantees will be required. Settlement date is a date upon which vacant possession of the property shall be given, namely upon acceptance of title and payment of the balance of monies. The property is sold subject to all registered and a pertinent easements as described in the attached, attached copy of title. As stated, the vendor statement forms part of this contract and as such has been on display together with various statutory authority certificates which confirm we are situated in the City of Knox and the property is owned at Neighbourhood Residential under Knox Council Planning Scheme. There's a land area of approximately 1,004 square metres. Are there any questions on the documentation, the contract or the Section 32? Okay. The property itself, what a lovely property, 1,004 square metres of land, good sized block, single car garage with a wine cellar, was purposely built as a wine cellar, enter the property, spacious lounge room with gas heating, three large bedrooms, good sized kitchen area and I think you'll all agree the place is spotless. It has been freshly painted and it has been magnificently looked after by the current owners. It also has a separate granny flat, teenage retreat, home office, whatever you want to use it for. Could sleep too, has a kitchen, so very versatile in that regard. Great family home or in-laws if you like. 
or teenage teenage boys, teenage girls maybe. Separate carport for that granny flat. The rear yard, pretty impressive. I haven't seen a veggie patch like it before, it's fantastic. The cubby house, I think we'll all agree, I haven't seen a cubby house like that before either. Needed a pin in the backyard, needed a pin in the front yard. Upstairs you've also got a study area, games room, what are you going to call it? Great natural light, great views from the balcony, all in all very impressive property, which I'm sure anyone would like to add to their investment portfolio or as an owner occupier. Great family home, great investment. So ladies and gentlemen, I've probably said enough. It's all I need to say. We're now in your hands. I'll hand it over to you to decide today who and for what price is going to buy 36 Landscape Drive for Heights. your heights. So the ball's in your court. I call for an opening bid on 36 Landscape Drive for your Heights. We're all going to sell it, so I'm happy just to be silent myself. So I don't get to talk to you for the rest. So I'm just call for an opening bid on 36 Landscape Drive. Anyone, anywhere? Opening bid on 36 Landscape Drive. Well, maybe I'll suggest an opening bid. Make it easy for you. Opening bid of 750 for Landscape Drive, anywhere. 750,000 opening bid. Come on, make a start. We have 750, thank you, sir. 750 to my right. I'll take increments of 10,000. We're at 750,000 to my right. I see 760,000 anywhere. $750,000 to the gentleman on my right. $760,000 anywhere. You're all spread out, so if you want to bid, put your hand up so I can clearly see you. $760,000 we're looking for. We have $750,000. Ladies and gentlemen, I will remind you, under the rules of auction, the highest bidder has the first right to negotiate with the vendor. So if you have intent to bid or buy this property, now is the time to do it, because you may miss out. It's an open forum, you know what's going on. Once you go behind closed doors, you don't know. 750,000 bid, 10,000 anywhere. $750,000. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I also have the right to put in a vendor bid on behalf of the vendors. I'm gonna exercise that right. I'll put in a vendor bid at 760,000. We can now advance on 760,000. We have 760,000. Any advance anywhere? Any advance on 760,000? 760,000 we have. 700, can I say 770, sir? Can I say 770? 770? 770 we have. 770,000. Gentlemen on my right. 770,000. We've all got other things to do. I can stand here for a while. $770,000 we have. Looking for $780,000. 780 anywhere. 770 we have. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call the property. No more further bidding. We will negotiate a solution with this gentleman. First call at $770,000. Second call. $770,000. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just uh, have a chat with the vendor and we'll be back. Thank you all.
thank you for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're close. We're not quite there yet. So, sir, confirm your bid at 770,000. Any further advance on 770,000? 770,000, I remind you, we'll exclusively negotiate with the gentleman here with no further bidding. So if you are interested, now is the time. We will knock the property down if no further bidding. And this gentleman will have exclusive rights. 770,000, 36 landscape drives. Beautiful property, great location. Close to schools, shops, transport. 770,000. Any bid anywhere. First call at 770,000. Second call, 770,000. We're going to pass the property in. Third and final call. Third and final call, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to pass the property in to this gentleman. Thank you for your time. Thank you.